Today I'm going to teach you how to get your Sony Flip 15A not throttling. This is the Sony Flip 15A. It's a laptop, it's a tablet, it's a hybrid, it's an Ultrabook. And as an Ultrabook, it's not good with cooling, but the most confusing part is it has a GT 935M in it, which is a pretty decent graphics card. I mean, it's not the absolute top best, but it plays it pretty decently. So the things you want to do is because it throttles all the time, is that when you play games for a couple of minutes, it literally throttles for 5 to 11 minutes. It's just because of the temperature you're getting so high, it throttles, and it's almost unplayable in any game when you're like, oh my god, this is amazing, and now it's just pfft, the shit. So, and a lot of people have had these issues as well, and there's even a couple of threads, I mean threads, um, threads, whatever the hell they're called, uh, topics, things like that, on people having the same issue, and there's even... This one thread who literally is six pages long and nobody's even found it out. I have, and I'm here to explain it to you. So what you need to do is you need a couple things. One, you need, 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 need to update your drivers. It's really important to always update your drivers. Um, just always in journal and in aspect. It gives you better performance, savability, and things like that, right? And if you ever, if and you absolutely want the latest uh, NVIDIA graphics card driver, you need to download GeForce Experience. This will get you to, um, if it will load, I forget the exact uh, version, but it's like 4.27. And with the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, it's, um, yeah, that's right. Uh, it was three, it was 327.25 or something like that. And this version is 347.25, so better updates, better performance, etc., better stability. You always want to update your things. Next thing, get these things out of the way. You need throttle stop. You can download 6.0 or 7.0. 7.0 is the beta, and since um, it's been over a month, it won't work technically. You have to change your date and time to back to a month, and then you have to change it back. You know what I mean? So anyway... You need a throttle stop, you need to disable BD Pro Hot, that's on all throttle stops, and you need something called NVIDIA Inspector. Okay, this is important. If you, if this kind of goes into like a rollback. If you want to change any of these settings higher than what it is, you need to change these settings. If you want to change the P8 state, which is your throttle state, you need to change these the P5 state first. So literally, if you want to make changes to P5, you need changes to this. If you want to make changes to P8, you need to make changes to P5. So let's apply defaults, please. I won't apply defaults. There it goes, hold on. And apply defaults. Okay, so I don't know why, I don't know what P5 state is, um, but it goes down to 405 megahertz. Why? I don't know. But this is the most important part is the P8 state, which goes down to 405 megahertz and 400 megahertz of memory clock. So, when, so the first thing we need to do is change this to 760 because 760 is what I found is best settings and doesn't make your temperatures go crazy high and you need to change your memory clock why the hell not we can actually uh, overclock this to 800 and then we need to go to P8 state again 760 do 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 and 7 or no 800 it used to be 784 Oops, I'm doing it wrong. Alright, there we go. And, when you reboot, I would highly recommend... Let's delete these, because I already made a video before. Oops, not rename. Ah, delete. And we want to create a shortcut for the P5 state. Drag it here. And P8 state. Drag that here. And you always want to make sure you start this first, and then this first. Because remember... You can't make changes at the P8 state without changing the P5 state first. Cool? Okay. So now that we have that in, um, the main problem is that it will uh, crash. Like this guy said, it will uh, it will give you a blue screen and give you driver power state failure. Simple fix. You go to NVIDIA control panel. In either or, it doesn't matter what you do, you can go to manage 3D settings. If it will load, and you can go to High Performance NVIDIA Graphics Processor. I like to do Auto Select, but the reason why I do this is because you want to always make sure the NVIDIA graphics card 
is always, 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 always on. Because as soon as it turns off while NVIDIA Spectre is having its own settings, it will crash. I don't know why, but that's what gives you the power state failure. So make sure you either have that on or have something like this application that I use that's for my mouse uh, to use the NVIDIA graphics processor. So it's always on in the background, and it doesn't use that much, but it's always on and always keeps it alive, basically. So you need that. And that's all you got to do, honestly. You just need to update your drivers, get throttle stop, get NVIDIA inspector, and make sure you have something that's always running, right, in those settings. And you do this first, and you do this first, and you won't get a completely, you know, you, you won't get a performance that's exactly like it is when it's uh, turbo boosting, uh, because the turbo boost it has is 941 with 1.68 volts. Um, which is awesome, and it's I know it's amazing, but it won't unfortunately do that because basically you are overclocking while you're undervolting, so it can't go that high. It can't go above 830, and anything above 800 megahertz, it will start to the temperatures will go to like 83 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculous. Um, and with these settings, I got it around 75 to 73 with turbo boost on, and then when it downclocks to this settings that you just applied, it goes down to six, 68 to 70 Celsius, which isn't bad. And you also, if you want your temperatures to go down even more, drill holes underneath your fan of where your uh, undercover is, basically. The, the, the cover comes off, and you can drill holes in it to allow more air going through the fan so it can breathe better. It's kind of suffocating itself. So just tips. Um, also, if you want a really good performance, I highly recommend going to power management mode and to do prefer consistent performance. It works, trust me. It makes sure, uh, so the problem is with prefer maximum performance, it's your temperatures. Your temperatures get crazy high and it's an ultra book, it can't handle that very well. But prefer consistent performance is if your temperatures get really high, you can literally come over here and it idles at around 135 megahertz, which is perfect. And if you absolutely need to, you can do this. You can do the uh, CPU fan for the uh, for your computer, so it can uh, take your fan really high and your temperature can drop. So that's all you got to do. Uh, it's really simple. It was really complicated to find out, and I'm just glad. I'm happy with it because I'm only losing about 10 FPS when it's um, in low throttle mode. So good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any concerns or need help with something, let me know because I've spent a lot of time on this and I've pretty much learned everything about it. So cool, um, that's all, and there you go.